During the State of the Union address, um, President Obama talked about maybe cutting certain subsidies, um, oil subsidies, the giving breaks to the oils, or farm subsidies. I think Congressman Murphy during the debate also brought that up as a way to, you know, he was talked about what type of cuts would you do? He said subsidies immediately. Um, what are your thoughts on subsidies towards big oil or to farm? Um, I'd like to see us eliminate agricultural subsidies. Uh, subsidies for uh, non-cellulosic ethanol, uh, for uh, oil exploration. I think the president was right. Oil companies are doing pretty well. Probably don't need our help. Um, and, and frankly, most subsidies, with perhaps an exception, for subsidizing industries which were infrastructure, which is clearly going to be critical to version 2.0 of the U.S. economy. I, I would, I'd be enthusiastic about co cutting the subsidies that you mentioned, and I would probably oppose cutting subsidies for research and development in alternative energy. Uh, so I wouldn't make a blanket statement about subsidies, but uh, uh, subsidizing old school industries I think is probably not a good use of taxpayer dollars. You know, you would think that everybody would be on board to deal, deal with oil subsidies, seeing that, you know, mobile's making, like, record profits every quarter. But for some reason, we, when we look at the, the, the bills that come from the Republicans so far, we, we see that, you know, they're, talk, they're trying to redefine rape, um, uh, things that don't make any common sense, in my opinion. Why don't we see the re, uh, on colleagues on the other side of the political aisle talk about things such as farm subsidies and oil subsidies, something that you would think would get universal support, not only among members of Congress, but upon members of the public. Um, I think there's probably a couple explanations for that. One is that both agricultural interests and petroleum interests have extraordinarily powerful lobbies. Uh, two is that the United States Senate over, you know, puts an awful lot of uh, power in the hands of rural senators. I don't know how many people there are in Nebraska. I suspect there's fewer than there are here in my congressional district, but they get two senators. Um, and therefore, and the Senate, of course, is structured to stop anything that an individual senator really, really wants to stop. Uh, so I think there's a bunch of reasons. That doesn't mean it's, the, it's right that those subsidies continue to exist.